a 16th and 17th century Dutch painting at the Rijksmuseum. Now that many of us are spending most of our time inside, perhaps looking for a change of scenery, I thought I'd bring you a different outside view. So today I'm going to talk to you about the painting known as The Little Street by Johannes Vermeer. On this small painting, we see a scene from everyday life in Vermeer's hometown of Delft, a row of ordinary houses on a spring or summer day some 350 years ago. Two women are diligently engaged in household work while two children are playing outside. At first glance, the viewer is struck by the painting's almost photographic realism. Vermeer creates depth by adding the alleyway and the houses in the distance, and look at the way in which he abruptly cuts off the picture plane or crops the image in social media terms. There's also the illusion of an accurate depiction of materials, such as the rough bricks above the smoother whitewashed section of the walls. However, upon closer inspection, we see that Vermeer doesn't create this lifelike effect through uh, minutely detailed brushwork. In fact, up close, we see that the bricks consist of overlapping shades of red and brown and loose splodges and strokes of white and gray. And Vermeer really reveals his deep understanding of lightful and how we perceive objects. The question of where exactly these houses stood in Delft has been addressed by many scholars over the years. And only recently, the Dutch professor Frans Grijshout was able to convincingly identify the location as the Vlamingstraat 40 and 42. Grijshout compared the composition to a 17th century document recording the width of houses. And Vermeer's widowed aunt also lived on this address. Next year, it will be 100 years ago that the Little Street came to the Rijksmuseum. At the time, museums all over Europe and the United States were eager to add paintings by Vermeer to their collections. And the Little Street was already one of Vermeer's most beloved and most famous paintings. So when it was donated to the museum by the private collector Henry Deterling, it was a national affair. Today, 99 years later, I hope we can soon welcome you back to the Rijksmuseum, where Vermeer's little street is waiting for you in the Gallery of Honor.